a relentless wind Wednesday like a Miami hurricane. Only difference is up here, it's much colder. The Robbinsville Ravens and Steinert Spartans, though, braving those elements. Arville pitcher Lauren Fisher fresh off her no-hitter Monday against Heightstown, bringing nothing short of her usual A game. On this afternoon, some clutch defense helped. Christine Levering nicely backing up first baseman Hannah Olszewski, who just missed the ground ball. Heads up play and teamwork together. On the hill for the Spartans, they call her Gio, Jess Giordano, started very well, struck out nine, walked only two. Scoreless game until the top of the fourth. Two runners in scoring position for the Ravens, no one out. Olszewski at the plate, swings and pokes this through to straightaway center for a base hit. Fish comes home to get Arville on the board. Runners on the corners now for Morgan Pashuk. She lays down a great bunt. It stays fair and make it an RBI for number seven. That upped the Raven lead to two nothing with the fans fighting the cold too. Fish is going to be bringing a lot of smiles to Seton Hall fans next year. She went the complete seven innings, striking out ten, allowing four hits, no walks. Speaking of hits, Leanna Gearhart, top of the fifth, drills this to left center, and it is gone! A solo homer for Leanna Gearhart. She's also got college pretty much squared away. The junior has verbally committed to Delaware. Three-nothing Ravens following that in the top of the fifth. Michelle Petrilla brought on in relief for Steiner, trying to shut the Ravens down. Fish up with one on, and Fish gives it a ride way back there, and it's gone! Just clearing the fence, a two-run shot for Lauren Fisher. That made it 19 unanswered runs that Ravens softball has scored against Steiner, dating back to 2011. The fifth would end this way, another nicely hit ball to center, but sophomore Gabby Bennett well on point to make that grab. Spartans not wanting to get shut out by the Ravens a third straight time. Amber Dietrich lifts this to right in the fifth. It was a single. She would later steal a base. And then Alyssa Brunoli, sorry for the shoddy camera work here. She drills this to left. It stays in the park, though, but it's enough to bring in a run. That is the first run Steinert has scored against Arville since their MCT meeting back in 2010. Fish, though, bottom of the seventh, just a little work to do, made it happen. The Ravens come into Hamilton Square, and they don't let the weather conditions bother them. They take it 5-1, to one, and they are off to a 2-0 and o start. Their coach is actually my hitting coach, so I knew she knew my weaknesses, so I knew about where she was going to pitch it, so I was ready for what was going to come. It was actually kind of difficult because the wind was taking my body one way when I was pitching. I was kind of losing balance a little bit, and then my pitches weren't moving as well as I would like them to be just because a little everything was a little off, but everyone adjusted really well, so I was really proud of the way that they were able to deal with it and not make excuses and make the plays. The girls are really good at making adjustments, and they all know that the wind is a factor, but we don't like to dwell on it. For Hamilton Pulse, I'm Mark Fontes.